so I am making something for my friend. It's gonna contain a baby bottle. Oh, the turn is still on. It's gonna contain a baby bottle and some onesies, some bibs, some socks, a blanket. Don't mind my half done ashtray. Y'all gonna see that in another video. But a blanket is nice, it's soft. This is what I'm gonna be putting on it. And then this is the diaper bag. I think I might end up ordering her a new diaper bag sooner or later because it doesn't have the um, changing pad on the inside. And it's not very like, you know, big and spacious. But, so we're about to get this on and pop in. And y'all look, boom. And y'all look. I got another table. It's a little messy right now because I got my stuff's over there and I got a lot to do. But it's coming together and let's get into this. Did this right and it was a harder plastic, but I tried to melt it and like do that and that and it's just like that and then so I got the trash can from Dollar Tree. I thought if I melted it, it would be a softer plastic so I could get my vinyl out. But it didn't work. So um, that was fail. But let's get into this. I'm about to remove this. This is for the J. That's going to be on the background of everything. Most of everything. So I'm just going to um, weed this on out and show you everything that i'm doing i want to say thank you for all the subscribers that are already here and if you're new thank you for watching and if you're liking what you see do not forget to subscribe or is it something that you thought i taught you or helped you out with don't forget to subscribe so you can find this video again but yes let's get into the video and i know i know y'all might think i waste a lot of vinyl and i definitely do but how long it was not recorded i ain't have time to like i like this ankle get everything organized all the way so yeah so I didn't want all the shirts that I did just to have her name on it. So I just got some things that I thought was cute. Like this. Hold my bottle. I got it. I thought that was real sexy and cute. And then my next one was the... Her name with the pink on it. And then her name in silver in the front, if I'm not mistaken. This, um... I did put on a heat press and it wasn't doing what it needs to do. So if y'all subscribe to this channel, maybe in a couple months I'll be able to buy the Cricut Joy or maybe even like next month I'll be able to buy the mini heat press. And I do want the Cricut Joy too, but the, yeah, the mini heat press. So maybe y'all can help me out so I don't have to use the iron. Just by pressing subscribe, it's not really a big deal or anything but yeah so you want to apply pressure you do not want to wiggle it around like i was doing if it is regular iron on vinyl i know the glitter is much tougher so it can abstain it but if it's regular iron on it will definitely wrinkle but now i'm onto the blanket and you want to push the fur the opposite way you do not want to smooth you want it rough so you want to push it the opposite way the fur is falling and then iron it on um, I know you won't be able to tell during the video, but the thinner parts of the blanket are not adhering super strong simply because it is fur and it doesn't have a super flat surface to attach to. So make sure you push it the other way so it has more grip. And I'm setting this clean cloth on top of it. That way I do not melt the fur, but I ended up putting it on without it on the heat press without the um towel and it did just fine and this iron on was not working for me like strong enough so i just put it all on the heat press together and then this is how it came out yes i like it so far i think i want to add my name is and then her name but i'm not sure and also these bibs y'all i got these from walmart and it's like not okay it's like that um 
microfiber fabric or something like that and it's just not sticking to it at all so i would have to go buy some 100 percent cotton or something like that and then this is the baby bottle my first coat was mod podge and glitter um i think next time i do a light glitter i'm gonna definitely do like a pink a pink um spray paint primer type thing and then apply the pink because it looks more of a white with pink sparkles and it's supposed to be all pink but i'm just doing a mod podge thing coating it really well making sure my lines are straight and i have i've been recording on my back camera because i knew i was going to be using words and they want everything to be backwards for you guys so some of the, some of my video has been erased. Well, not even recorded. So this is why this is going on on the second coat instead of the first coat. But yeah, you do the same exact same thing for the first round. You do the mod podge first, coat it up nice and smooth, and then you apply the glitter. But you want to make it nice and smooth. I also cleaned this baby bottle with acetone. All around the outside so I'm adding the pink glitter you see it's lovely mm-hmm so I'm just breaking the on really and it's rotating and falling off for me I have this paper underneath to catch all of the glitter so I can put it back in the jar and if you can see it's not completely pink it has specks of purple and you can see the purple more than the actual pink and it's not even a lot of purple in the freaking jar but it's okay because this is my first ever tumbler baby bottle or whatever anything like this this is my first time using my cup turner so yes, I'm, I'm proud of how it came out for my first time. And then this is a Mod Podge to put the chucky. Woo, y'all, I just had a big yawn. Oh, to put, this is a Mod Podge to hold the um, chunky glitter on. So yes, I'm applying that. And if this pattern or whatever looks a little different, my epoxy did not set correctly so i had to throw up throw out the cup and um restart it so yeah but i'm just adding more glue where i want the chunky glitter to fall um now i'm adding the epoxy and with this epoxy i did add pink glitter because i wanted it more of a pink look then like a whitish blush look so that's what i'm doing now just mixing so now that i think about it what my epoxy did not cure properly is probably because i added this heat before i was done stirring because like whoa it's too many bubbles because i was like freaking stirring it super fast it was super late and i was just trying to get it dry before i woke up And do not rush the process. Y'all just uh, slow down or you'll have to start completely over.
So I'm just inserting this in to show you guys that I do not buy my labels. I cut them out with my Cricut. I know a lot of people that watch my videos do not own a Cricut yet. But that's what I used for this whole setup. And this is the finished bottle. It's dry now and I'm about to um, put on everything I just cut out onto here. So this contact paper for my vinyl is used, the purple kind is usually for glitter and it has super strong tack to it. So I was just putting it onto my hand and on the back of my hand to loosen up that tackiness and make it less sticky. So I wouldn't have any issues when I apply the letter, just in case if some spots my epoxy wasn't settled completely. So I am layering her name, just in case if you are wondering, it'll be layered with white. I did the pink background just to try to make it more of a 3D look, like kind of like pop out. Um, but yeah, so this is basically it, you guys. This is the last thing I'm doing, just mm, dope.